got it. Is this right? Alright, this is lining up. Alright, it's trap. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, what the hell? I just I just clicked it without alright, guys, hold on, wait. Why why is this my fault? You guys are so mean. Oh my god. I hate you guys. You guys suck. Uh, let's, all, let's all make fun of poor little Sale because he clicked a link and Esports TV gave him the wrong video. Alright, it's gonna be Trap vs. Sang here, a PvP for game one. You guys are terrible people. You, you guys are like the kind of people that like go around telling children that Santa Claus doesn't exist and then just laughing. So like go around, you know, like it's it's Christmas time, they're in the mall with like the big fake Santa Claus guy giving out presents. You just like walk up in front of everyone, everyone just like, hold the phone! Santa Claus isn't real, kids. He's not fucking real. And you just laugh as all the children burst into tears. Okay, so, spawning as the red Protoss on the bottom left, we have SDX Souls Trap, and that means in the top right is the blue Protoss, we will have um, Sang from Team 8. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so, apologies for all the technical issues. And by technical issues, I mean eSports TV freaking trolling me with their link thing. Ah, Curse them. I don't think that's the first time that's happened though. I'm pretty sure that happened to me before. I guess I just forgot. The story of my life. I, man, uh, I really would be like Jaehoon if I, if I became a pro gamer. Me and Jaehoon, man, we'd be buddies. We'd be fellow terrible pro analysis together. Anyway. <clears throat> so we're on Cloud Kingdom, and looks like we're going to have 13 gate from both players. Yep. The gateway just a touch faster from Sang, but, you know, not the biggest deal in the world. Yeah, it, it would have been really funny if I just casted that entire VOD as if it was the real game, just completely unaware of what was going on. <laughs> uh, that would be that would be really amazing. It would be an all-time high for me. And by high, I mean low. Uh, we have a fast double gas, though, from, uh, from Trappy. Very interesting stuff. No second gas yet from Sang. Trap, of course, is uh, STX's Ace StarCraft, uh, Ace StarCraft 2 player, or at least one of them. Uh, they, I believe they used Last in the last match that they played instead of Trap. But uh, yeah, they have a couple of good, good StarCraft 2 players. Um, but Trap is the one who usually comes out against Jadong. And now the stream is just dead. All right. Well. Hey, backup stream. All right, so it looks like we're gonna have a. Uh, is that a second gateway? I believe that's a second gateway. So it looks like a three stalker opening from uh, from Sang. Still don't know what Trap's doing though. I don't know what that thing is either. Looks like Trap is making a sentry. All right, what's he gonna go? Robo Stargate. Robo. All right, so Sang is going. Or sorry, Trap is going for Robo after that sentry. And there's the Twilight Council for uh, for Sang. So Sang going for three stalker opening into uh, Blink. So we're gonna have Blink stalker versus Robo openings. And let me actually just quickly go and have a look at the other stream. Where did it go? Oh, it was VLC. 
Oh wow, it's like completely borked. Alright, I don't know what's going on there. But for some reason the VLC thing is completely dead. So we're just gonna have to watch this in glorious 360p. Oh, I love the YouTube stream. And whoa, never mind, it's not Blink Stalkers, it's a Dark Shrine. Hmm. Alright, so since uh, since Trap is a robo, obviously, uh, obviously, um, what do you call them? DTs aren't really gonna work. I mean, you know, they're still good, but there will be detection on the map. But what he can do then is, is, you know, as soon as he sees the observer, he can just be like, oh, well, I guess I can't only have DTs. So he can just make them into an Archon and turn this into, like, uh, an Archon bust on the ramp, because of course uh, Archons can just crush any force fields on the ramp, so just make a bunch of gateway units and one Archon and then just attack and hopefully win. Uh, on the other side we are seeing uh, Trap actually get a Twilight Council as well, so he's actually gone for Robo uh, and Twilight. Gonna get some, getting Immortal now, but also getting Blink. Now it's quite interesting because he actually doesn't have any Stalkers yet. He's just warping in his first two Stalkers now. Up to now he's only had Zelts and Sentries and then that one Immortal. But uh, that, so he is gonna be able to use the Observer to help, you know, allow him to blink to the main base and whatnot. And this is a very good map for that. Of course, uh, you know, there's a lot of space around the main base for you to blink in. All around the third and by the natural, there's 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 just that little cliff that you can blink across. Um, but we do have the first DT out, and actually the first Observer is out uh, over at uh, what's his face, the uh, Sang's base. So a second Observer is gonna have to be made here, or he's gonna lose some of these sentries. Oh man, he might actually lose these sentries. Is he gonna force the ramp? Does he see it? Does he see it? Oh! Oh no, he missed! Oh, he missed! He had to use three force fields to trap that DT. I wonder if he'll use a fourth one to trap it inside and just kill it. He might want to force field the bottom of the ramp. Oh no, it looks like he'll get it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh no, no, he did use another force field. Okay, so he uses a fourth force field to trap it uh, on the ramp. But man, that was quite a big waste there. The thing is, the thing is, I think he let the DT come up intentionally on the first one. The first one was not actually a mistake. The first one was intentional. Um, he wanted the DT to go onto the ramp so he could use two force fields to trap it on the ramp and kill it when the observer comes out. Because if he just force fields the DT out of the ramp, the DT can just run away somewhere and then he doesn't know where it goes. He doesn't know where it is anymore. So I think he intentionally let it onto the ramp, but then he missed the second force field. That was obviously a miss. Uh, and then he had to use a third one there, but I think it was good reaction by him to actually place that third one in time to realize that his thing was actually off place, but here come the blink stalkers. Actually, they're just regular stalkers. I don't know if he has blink yet. Um, looks like it doesn't matter. There's way too many. Oh man, and the ground army's out of position. He's gonna catch one of these immortals away from the rest of the army and run straight into the main base, but does he have blink though? Can he actually blink out? He must have blink if he's gonna do this kind of move. Oh man, he's gonna snipe the Artosis Pylon! No, is he gonna get it? Not quite! And he's backed into a corner now, and... Yep, there's the Blink. Alright. So he did get Blink. And he's gonna escape, losing a handful of Stalkers. Uh, didn't really kill that much, actually. Killed a couple of Probes and, uh, and one Immortal in exchange for two or three Stalkers. Not the best exchange in the world. Um, but, you know. And... Oh! Blink has now finished for uh, for Trap as well. Blink, the best counter to Blink. It's always quite amusing to me. Um, and looks like he's just going to give chase here. Of course, he does have the Immortal supporting his army, so, uh, you know, Sang can occasionally turn back and kind of, you know, pick off uh, Stalkers at the front, but he can't really engage straight up due to those Immortals. And now, uh, now it looks like Trap's actually going to break down the rocks before he moves up. He's a little bit concerned that there's a sentry up there, so he doesn't want to get half his army caught uh, just moving up that narrow ramp. So he's going to widen it up a little bit, and uh, he's going to hit a nice timing here. I mean, Sang went for the expansion after the DT rush, but just only has Stalkers right now, and there's two Immortals there. I think he's going to have to sacrifice this expansion. Yeah, he's not even going to try to defend it, just blinking up his ramp, pulling all his probes. Uh, he's got one sentry there to force field the ramp to keep himself alive. Um, so this is not going to be not going to be so good. He's going to lose a couple pylons in the back there as well. Uh, so Sang, I mean, I, making the correct decision there to, uh, to pull back. I'm a little bit surprised that he actually just, you know, went pure Blink Stalker, didn't uh, add any Archons or anything to the composition. Archons are pretty good at tanking shots from Immortals in particular. And it looks like, oh, a DT did try to sneak around into the main base, but is going to get spotted. Very nice uh, defense by, by Trap. Pay attention to that. 
It's a very common mistake in Brood War, actually, in PvP, where, uh, you know, you open Robo and you get Observers and the other guy went DTs, but if you go too aggressively with your first Observer and you don't pay attention to your main, he can just sneak a DT in the back and then just kill you. Uh, but look at this, we're having an engagement here. Um, nice force field there, kind of uh, blocking off some units and good blink micro, so uh, I don't think actually either player really lost anything there. Don't see any corpses of stalkers or anything like that. And whoa, gotta be careful moving down there. He cannot move down that ramp with those two immortals there. I mean, he's warping in a few zealots here and there, but he's still got almost entirely stalkers. Does he have any other tech in his main base? I don't think he does. What would be really cute is if um, is if Trap actually go gets a Dark Shrine right now and just sends in DTs, because I'm fairly certain there's no Robo here. I'm like 90% sure that Sang does not have a Robo. So that'd be really funny if he just made a DT and won. <laughs> And looks like uh, Sang is just going to wait. He's going to do a small counterattack here, but there's plenty of stalkers defending at home. Yeah, Trap is not going to let this do anything. Oh man, he's going to he's going to blink back that stalker and sacrifice the few zealots that were here. You know, Sang was just kind of hoping that Trap had overcommitted to the forces at the front, uh, so he could just you know send in the counterattack. But it looks like he's taking the uh, opportunity to move down here. But those immortals just way too strong. Even with good blink micro, he's going to target those down. He is going to get both of them, but not before his stalker count is already lower than Traps. And oh yeah, this is probably going to be the end here for Sang. Did he just shoot his own stalker? Or was that... No, no, no. Wait. I think that was just Trap stalker warping in. But anyway, Sang is going to get taken down. And GG, Trap takes game number one of the StarCraft 2 best of three, keeping STX in it. Solid PvP from Trap. And uh, so while we have a breakdown, I'm gonna try and switch back to a, a higher quality stream. Um, I know I know people in the thread I think said they preferred a, a stable stream, but it really kind of bugs me that I can't get something happening here. Uh -oh. Stop. See, the worst thing is like the HD stream just has a splash screen instead of um instead of ads, so I can't tell if it lags or not. See, it's just like a static screen, so this could be like lagging.